What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given me on this series and I am uh, I'm very excited. Super excited guys. I uh, just hit 8,000 subscribers on my channel. That's like it's like super serious and stuff, you know? It's pretty cool. The last episode we built our little dump truck with snow plow. We had ourselves a good time and uh, we tried to move some boxes. Didn't work all that hot. But today uh, I was inspired. I was. I was reminded of my childhood, and uh, one of my favorite movies of all time was Willy Wonka. Love it. Not the Johnny Depp version, Gene Wilder version, the real version. Let's let's be honest here. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, that's right. We gotta make the Wonka mobile. Boom, bow, bow, da da da, bow, bow. Da, na, na. That's a, that's my best Wonka noise that I can make. It makes crazy noises. Um, is it Charlie and the Chocolate? I think it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is uh, the Johnny Depp version. That's awful, um, but it's a uh, it's a good time. And I was like, I want to try and make it. And it's super simple, super easy, super on point. I just want to make these Black Jones here. Uh, what am I? What am I in third person? I don't know. Gotta make these things because they're like funnels for the pipes. Now this is all done by interpretation. I know that it is not to scale because let's get crazy. Let's not get nutty. Uh, it's a scrap mechanic, so we just got. I did my best to try and put it all together as close as I could. Now as far as the seats, I know in the very front we have uh, seats four. It should seat five, but it doesn't. Uh, there should be something to seat two people in here, but in order for me to to seat it too wide uh, this thing would have to be super gigantic and then the big pipe in the center would be kind of small when in the movie it's actually pretty big uh, we did our best to try and uh, put the little pipe that goes up the top um, this little angle here if you see let's put this here go ahead we're gonna put you on here up you go yes uh, these are actually uh, the two one tire the one tire in here it's a uh, put on by two hinges that go down three degrees in order to even this out uh, because this going straight away doesn't really match up with those tires there so uh, this goes down three degrees because of the, um, the hinges the bearings that I have here um, in order to make this turn kinda <laughs> this doesn't really turn all that hot uh, because I wanted to you know just be able to drive it and of course these wheel hubs are pretty much stationary in the movie it is just something that goes forwards and backwards not a whole lot of turning radius uh, we do have to try and figure out something when it comes to the turning radius but this is kind of like a low rider you know there's not a whole lot of room for roaming if you know what I'm saying it's more like a bike um, and the fact that uh, the steering mechanism up there goes all the way down to here in the movie that's a little ridiculous don't you think okay so let's go ahead I'll take this off the jaw here now, of course, in the front seat in the movie, there's a pipe that goes right in front of Mike TV and his mom, and that shoots all the foam on top of them, and that's what that pipe is there for. We got a little, we got a little ducky, a little birdie. Hi there, birdie. Um, in the uh, the movie, there is like a little uh, toot, toot, toot horn right here, man, stinging horn. Uh, this is my interpretation of it, just a shock, a uh, short shock, and then it is a pipe with a corner pipe, and then we have the pipes going from, uh, there's pipes that go all the way from this tube to the back and then we have these could kind of make the, the funnel interpretation of the funnels yes um, on these pipes you can't put any pipes on the side of it it's all on the top you can only when these kind of like don't really connect all that hot you know but you know what for what we needed to do it is fine now also in the movie he has like a windshield, but it's like a big circular type windshield and circles and video games. What? That's crazy. So uh, we have two hinges right there. They go back five degrees because in the movie that way it kind of goes back a little bit, just like in the just like in the film. Uh, we have our radio. We have two shocks just to add a little bit of detail. And next to the uh, the wonk, next to Mr. Willy Wonka, there's like a big gear shifter. So that is what this is supposed to represent. Just a gear shifter. Nothing too nutty. Nothing too zany, nothing too off the wall. Good stuff. And of course, the two back seats where Charlie and Grandpa Joe sat. Uh, they should be elevated just a little bit. 
Um, but the the chairs, these chairs have some serious width to them. Width to them. You know, we can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and we'll just add it up. We'll just right. We'll just raise it up, up, up. You know what I'm saying? Very cool. Very nice. We'll add this to section. Boom, 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 boom. Everything is made out of aluminum ducks. Quack, quack, duck, duck, goose. To add a little bit of flavor, it is also lightweight. Lightweight. Now let's go ahead and we'll add those. And I'll tell you what, we'll add those as well. So that way everything is rounded and it's pretty. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, hey, boom, boom. Shaka laka boom. Boom, shalaka laka boom. Come on, boom. Nice. Now, of course, Willy Wonka is like all the way up top there. But, like I said, it's just my interpretation. And you know what? It runs. It's pretty cool. It's pretty wild. Well, I mean, when I say it runs, I mean it runs okay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, uh, we do have two controllers. I have two controllers because I was just planning to have two controllers. Uh, just in case. Some case stuff. But when it comes to controlling, the only thing we have is the angles going down to make the uh, front uh, wheel level. And then the gears to make this go back five degrees. So, uh, negative three, negative three, negative ten. I apologize. Negative ten to make the windshield go back. These buttons up here, they literally do nothing. They do nothing. They do nothing. And then the engine is down here. It gets, it gets connected to there and uh, it goes up to four. Boom, bow, bow. Da -da -da. All we need is foam right now, baby. All we need is foam. And it just drives. It's no big deal. What purpose does this serve? Absolutely none. It was just me trying to figure out if I can do it. And I and I think I did. I think I pulled it up a little bit. Just a hint. Just a smidge. I just wanted to see if I could do it. And I did. As close as I could, anyway. Yeah, but like I said, the steering. Oof. The steering, though. That steering, though. Not so hot. Not so hot. So we're going to have to try and figure something out there. Whoa. Um, probably with the hinges holding the pipes, we'll have to swing them out a little bit. Um, right. But as far as steering, even the movie, I mean, the movie only went like 20 yards and it went straight. That's all. <laughs> like, they, there was no plans to make it like actual movable. I just, like I said, I just wanted to make this to see if I, how close I could get to the actual product. And I think I did an okay job. And if you think I did an okay job, go ahead, hit that like button. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you liked it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out like shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. Ah. Oh. Bom, bow, bow, da da da, mm, bow, bow, da da da. Get me off this thing. <laughs>